Okay, right, so the last uh, paper two I marked for you is called 22, so let's see if you can improve on that this time. Uh, that's right, that's not right, I don't know where you got £63.76 from. Compost is 7 97 a bag, so four lots of that isn't going to come to that. And then um, your total you haven't added on the £35.90 so that's going to be wrong as well so you only need to get 2 out of 4 there um, and your 10% it should be £8.13 because that's bigger than um, 5 so that should be £8.13 but it's early on in the paper and you'll get that mark for how you've done it Meters squared, litres, metres, kilograms, good. B, F, C, G, good. 8, 10, 11 for the page. That's good. Two marks for that. Now uh, you've gone wrong here. Uh, four days times 21 add 15 is correct. But four times 21 isn't 63. Um, considering this is a calculator allowed play paper, you made two strange mistakes there multiplying. Um, so your method is right, but your answer is wrong. This one, the harder one, you got right, well done. The correct, good, and the medium is correct as well. So for that page, 10. £40.9 is correct, £22 is correct, that is correct, good, 7 marks there. Uh, 4 feet 6, that's pretty um, accurate for um, an estimate. Uh, you're better off in metres anyway, but I'd have gone for 5 foot there if you can stick with your imperial. Uh, times 13 is fine. And then you've done four feet times four feet six times thirteen divided by twelve. Well, not really sure how you work that out. You would have to turn four feet into inches. So four feet into inches would be forty-eight, so that would be fifty-two inches. Sorry, fifty-four inches times 13, which is 702 inches, divided by 12, is 58 and a half. So what you've actually multiplied there, that's wrong. You're going to get the right method for finding that. I'll give you that as a reasonable estimate, although it's not a helpful estimate, uh, but your final answer is wrong. So you're going to get one mark, one mark no marks. 7, 10 for the page. 3, 6, 7, 5 is correct. Well done. 29 and 5 are correct. Going up in threes. Well done. You've used the words. Halving each number is fine there. Total for the page. 9. Correct, correct, correct. Good work. Uh, 4, negative 6, 32, that one's wrong with you. Um, what you have to do here is substitute the A and the B with negative 1 and 5. And remember that the number and the letter are joined by a times. So what you've got is 3 times negative 1 and uh, negative 2 times 5, which is... Uh, negative 3 and take another 10 which gives you minus 13 so no method for that seen so I can't give you any marks um, for this one no both of those figures are wrong the number on the bottom should be the number of total number of chances there are if you're choosing a patient but it tells you there are 50 patients so the number on the bottom should be 50 and then um, 
if you read the table correctly, that's telling you there that there are 18 patients who had three visitors. But the question is saying at least three visitors. So it's those 18 plus those two who had four visitors and that one who had five. So the top number will be 21. And then this one's wrong with you as well. Here, again, if you look at how the table is or what the table is telling you, that one column there is saying that there are 14 patients who had each had two visitors. So there are 28 visitors in total in that column. So you've got to then work out how many in total in the other columns and add them together. So you're going to get no marks for that question. Total for page 9. 2592 is correct. Uh, that's not right. Um, what you've got to do here is if, if you were to score 78 out of 120 in the test, the way that I would write that on the front of your page would be like that. And then to turn it into a percentage, you would multiply that by 100. So on your calculator, you can type that in exactly the same way as I've written it there. Using the fraction button, you could do 78 over 120 times 100 equals 65. So 65% is the answer. Um, what show I do that on the video clip? I'm not going to go through it now, but um, it is something that you should easily be able to do. Now, because you've written seven centimeters there, I can, I'm happy to give you that mark, even though it's not close enough, because when you measure that, it is less than seven, quite a bit less than seven centimeters. It's uh, 6.7 centimeters. But I can see your method, so you're going to get no marks for your measuring, but you will get the mark for correctly turning it into kilometers. And yes, you need to have a look at how I do that in the video and uh, get your head around bearing. Similarly, this is a topic called utility bills um, and it's well worth you practicing those yourself um, in a quiet room because you need to concentrate, they can be quite confusing but if you have a look on the website in the topic section on utility bills and have a practice of those. That is correct that is correct, that is correct, good. Five marks for that. That is correct, three marks. And this is, yeah, you're doing the right thing. You can do it all in one go, uh, but to one decimal place, it's actually 8.1. So you get one of those marks. Nine for the page. that is correct and that is correct um, but what you then have to do you don't need to do anything as complicated as what you've done there although it is right so I'll give you the marks but all you need to say at this point is that the powers are even if you've got um, a product where the powers are even, then it means it will be a square number. But what you've done there is uh, perfectly fine. Um, and then have a look how I do the last two. This is called trial and improvement. And again, you should be able to get, get on with that yourself. But question 21 is quite involved, requires Pythag, areas of triangles and volumes. Okay, total for the page. So it was 22 last time. 21, 31, 40, 49, 51, 53, 62, 66 for the page. That's a whopping improvement. Um, I'm for the for my marks. That's a D. It's four marks off a C. Um, so you know that's much much better. And you know you're really close to a grade a grade C there. So well done, Ryan. That's a huge improvement.